Hey friends, Becky Harling here, and I have Phil Stacy with me today. That's me. I know, <laughs> hey. American Idol rock star. It's just an honor to be here with you today. Well, I'm excited, and hey, you know what, Phil? I have always wanted to be a rock star. Really? So I'm wondering if 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 mm -hmm. the whole writing and speaking thing bombs, mm -hmm. can I join your band? Well, I. Please. Well, do you sing? No, not really. You don't sing? Okay, so do you play an instrument? No, not really. Uh, okay. Do you run sound? No, not really. How about, like, I could be one of those little egg shakers, you know? Do you have any rhythm? Yes, great rhythm. I'm not really looking for an egg shaker right now. What you about what? a rain stick from Africa? You know what? Why don't you just, I'll call you. You know, if, if that okay. need arises. All right. Well, you know, <laughs> friends, I want you to know that it's never too late to be a rock star in Jesus' eyes. <laughs> That's true. That's there right, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, Phil, in all seriousness, what was it like to be an American Idol finalist, and what did that look like for your faith in Jesus Christ? Well, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, this was back in 2007. Uh, I think it was I a voted whirlwind. for you. Well, thank you. You're I knew welcome. I liked you. The you moment know, you're I met famous you. because of me. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Uh, you know, it, it was really crazy. I was a music minister at the time. Yeah. I was on American Idol, and my wife was with me in Los Angeles, So, and she had, like, Bible verses for me to read every day. Mm. I had a lot of great prayer support, and, um, you know, and what I found is that is that uh, people, even on the American Idol set, were very open to the gospel. When, when you walk your faith authentically, you know, I didn't walk around, like, judging everybody, uh, but, but just trying to love people. Um, and, you know, also make it known that I was a believer and, you know, we had devotions on set every day. You know, you'd see like Jordan Sparks, mm. uh, Chris Sly, Melinda Doolittle, several of us like sitting around singing worship songs uh, and stuff like that. So, I, you know, we ended up seeing a couple people give their life to Christ while we were there, That's incredible. Uh, which was really cool. Um, but, you know, it was it was a really cool moment because I knew that I wasn't there because of my own skills. Even mm. though I love to sing and I know that, I, that I, God has given me a talent to sing, there's a lot of people. Uh, that are talented and can sing, but I knew that God had me there for a reason. And of course, now I'm I'm, I'm highly involved in a lot of world missions projects, and and uh, and I see how God is using that platform to reach people with the gospel, and that's that's really cool to see in retrospect. That's incredible. What what's been your favorite song that you've performed? My favorite song is "Hold Me, Jesus." It's a song by Rich Mullins. I love it. I actually sang it backstage before every single one of my live performances yeah. on American Idol. But it's just a really cool prayer to remember when you, when you feel overwhelmed by what you're doing. You know you're not good enough. You know that you aren't worthy for the project, but that's kind of how God operates. He calls us to things that we're not capable of on our own so we can see his presence intervene in our lives and him help us accomplish uh, missions. And I just thought it was a perfect song to remind me that he, that he was going with me wherever I went. Hey, I love that song. I remember listening to it right before I was diagnosed with cancer. And wow. so that's a really special song it to me. Really well, friends, what we want you to hear today is that Jesus can use you. He can use you even if you feel inadequate, um, you know, and he can use you on a large stage like Phil, but he can use you in the platform of your neighborhood to reach people Amen. for Jesus. So thanks, that's Phil, good. for being on. Absolutely. It's an honor. Thanks well, for having me.